What's going on YouTube? Uh, Adam Guy here from Agar Studios and today I'm going to be doing my first FSX tutorial. Um, it's going to be a tutorial on how to set up the FMC or I don't know the other terminology for it at the moment, I'm sorry. Uh, but it's for the Airbus uh, A320 as you can see on the screen here, the uh, EasyJet livery. Um, so without further ado, I shall dive into the cockpit, um, and yeah, let's get going. Right, as you can see here, uh, the aircraft is currently in a cold and dark state. So I'm just going to quickly start by getting power to it first, which is obviously the main thing. So we do that by turning the batteries on, and uh, the power plant on there. Um, I'm going to turn the APU on. But you don't really need to be doing this to be fair, this is just sort of so I've got power to the aircraft and get these turned up on as such. Come down here and let's cut to here really. Right. Right. First thing you want to do is it will load up on this screen if you're loading from a cold and dark state. Uh, I will normally have my all my aircraft set to cold and dark, so um, it's up to you. If you want to set your uh, set your aircraft to load as cold and dark, then all you do is you come over to the second FMC here, come to active states. If you see here, load cold and dark, and then next to it it says set as default. All you do, click that button there. And now every time your aircraft loads, um, or this aircraft loads, sorry, it will load in a cold and dark state. Right, so the first thing you want to do, this load loads up, once you've got your power to your aircraft and your FMCs on, is you want to come to the init page and hit align IRS. Now, if I turn these on, look up here, see here IR in a line in four minutes basically means your screens up here turn it again. these screens here will obviously show your GPS and your everything your altitude speed and everything like that as you can see they're not on yet um, they will be on working in four minutes right Now, right. Now we are going to put our, our route. Well, we can now set the FMC up basically. So the first thing we're going to do is up here. If you see, it says from the two. So that's basically where you're flying from to where you're flying to. Basically, so you go where here at London Gatwick. So the E G K K slash, and we're going to be flying to. Uh, Dublin International. Um, so the code for that is E D. No, it's not E I. Sorry, D W. I always do that. And we're gonna put that here. Uh, I don't have any uh, saved routes or flights ready for it, so just click return. Um, alternative. Don't really need to put that in. Obviously, in the real world, they would have an alternative. Um, I don't actually know what it is for here, so I'm just not going to fill that in. Um, flight number. Oh, I would. What we're an easy jet, so E A. It's going to go easy. A three twenty, so easy. That's a random flight number. Obviously, I wouldn't recommend using one like that. Easy jet probably do have their own sort of flight numbers. Um, I am new to this, so I'm still learning, so please don't be like, oh, you're using the wrong terminology and everything, because I, like I said, I am new to this, so it's <laughs> not just a tutorial showing beginners like myself how to how to do it, really. Um, cost, in, uh, cost index, sorry, I'll go with 30. It's just a number, really, that you're given to by your airlines, um, sort of like a plan for your efficiency, how that... Um, cruise altitude, I'm going to cruise at a flight level 200. 
so it gives me a flex of 25 right and then what you want to do is come down to the arrow here and that'll load your fuel um i haven't actually loaded any fuel because i'm not doing the actual flight it's more just a fmc tutorial so i'm going to go with the fan the default load i believe for this aircraft which is 1903 so i'm just going to go with 19.0 it really doesn't matter on this occasion. Obviously, if you guys were doing a proper flight, um, then you would adjust your fuel and you'd, have, you'd be given a weight and everything like that, so you'd know what to put in there. Um, for obviously the already a tutorial, I don't, so it's it's just 19. Um, right, once that's done, you then want to come over to this page here, which is a flight plan page. Click on that. And you can see here it's got EGKK, uh, obviously a flight discontinuity, um, some random waypoints, and then Dublin or EIWD or that EIDW. Sorry. Um, what you want to do once you're on this page is click EGKK depart, and then this is where you'd be given a runway basically to depart. Um, I'm going to choose two six left. And I know by my flight plan, which I've, really, which I've got in front of me to obviously show you to do this. Um, you can find flight plans at R Finder. Um, I'll put the link in the description for that. Um, to be fair, with the Airbus, it has its own fuel calculator. If you're not flying on the Airbus, but the FMC is the same, then you can get it from Fuel Planner, I believe. is a website where you can sort of find where your fuel is on that as well. Um, so I can see by my charts, my first um, airway or wave point, sorry, is Kennet. So I can see all I need to do is scroll down, click on Kenny, Kennet, click on that, and insert. And what this will do is you can see here, it'll put loads of wave points. And this is where here, obviously, you'd set up your speeds and heights, constraints, and out to altitude constraints, sorry, and all of that kind of stuff. Um, but I'm not really doing that. Basically, all I'm doing is just setting up the plan so it's the aircraft's ready to go. Basically, um, right as you can see here, the aircraft has put TC. This stands for of uh, top of well, top of climb, basically top of cruise. So basically, what this will be is my cruise altitude uh, flight level two zero zero, which is twenty thousand feet. So basically. This here will show up on the screen if it's aligned, which it has done now. Um, let me zoom out, sorry. If you can see here, excellent. You see here this little arrow, this basically means the aircraft reckons it will reach its cruise altitude at 20,000 feet by this arrow basically, that's that's what that's saying on, on TC, so if you look at that and you think oh well this is TC and the other one obviously is TD which you'll see in a bit, uh, that one stands for top of descent, basically that's when the aircraft will start descending. Um, so right, what you want to do is you want to click on Kennet, which was obviously my first waypoint and then come over to airways now it's easy i think it's uh airways on this side waypoints on this side basically so what you want to do is you want to start with my first one um feel free if you want to do this flight this is an actual route um everything will be set up sort of the way it should be for you to go so if you did want to just practice this is a perfect flight to do it's not very long um and it also gives you a good chance to sort of get to a descent have a bit of a cruise and then descend in to obviously your approach into finals and then obviously landing. So, first wave point is N14, and we are going to Dobum, I believe. D O B E. Down there. There we go. And then my next wave point, or airway, sorry, is UN14. And that's to Medoc. So M E D O G. Right. 
Next wave point is UL18. Airway. I keep saying wave points for airways, I'm very sorry. <laughs> and its wave point is <laughs> lip going. Right, and that is all the uh, airways done and all the wave points done because my next is my star. Um, so then what I'll do is I hit insert. That will insert those in. What you want to do then is just go all the way through. Keep going all the way down. See there, you've got your top of descent. That's where the aircraft will start descending. Uh, we've got to lib go. Now what we need to do, because we're setting up our, our star now, uh, is EI, let's click on that. Uh, arrivals. We are going to land ILS runway 10, we're going to go for. And our star, I normally, I'm not too sure what it is, but my last wave point was Libgo, so I just presume that this could be my star as well. Because it's sort of my last, last sort of wave point, it's the last sort of place I'm going to be before the approach, and I think that is the one for this airport. Hit insert, and then what that does is that will then, all the way down, uh, get rid of any flight discontinuities, all the way down and then what that will do is if you see here it's sort of setting the aircraft here for a percent so it's saying you know make sure it's at 6,000 feet after this the top of the centre but I'd obviously normally start one to centre around about here anyway you can do that manually obviously right and that is basically the flight plan page done as long as there's no <coughs> excuse me as long as there is no discontinuities, then you're good to go. So then, what you do is you then come over to this performance page, I guess. Yeah, yeah, performance page. And this is where you set off your takeoff, basically. So I normally fly flaps one, put that in there, and what that then does is it then works out your V1, your rotate, and your V2 speeds. Um, there is ways of going through this doing uh, like step climbs and all that kind of stuff. I don't really know what I'm doing on that kind of thing. This is more like I said, just a basic tutorial. Um, and with that, I believe that is it. That is the, the FMC setup, really. You can see all your routes all ready to go. Um, yeah, that is, that is it. That is basically everything all ready to go. Um, thank you once again. Thank you for watching my video. This is a uh, Adam Guy, um, owner of Agar Studios. And please comment, like, and subscribe, and also share the videos if you know anyone that's look, sort of looking to get into flight sim. So I know there's guys out there like Frugal and other people like that that are very, very good. I learn a lot of stuff from their channels. Thank you very much. Just putting it out there. I'm not trying to step on anyone's shoes with this. I, I enjoy my flying, my flying, and I'm sure those guys do too. So thank you very much and. Uh, goodbye.